Hey guys, boom. Kurt Rostenk up here, former international rugby player and current scrum coach. So as you guys know, I'm all about helping front pro rugby players and coaches all over the world improve their performance in the scrum. So I have a question for you. Do you want to be consistent in your scrum performance? You have seen me in the past use the anchor harness, training with rugby players and posting loads of content on social media. And today I would like to explain to you why. Since I've been retired, I've always been looking for different training methods and tools to help rugby players and coaches improve their performance in the scrum. If you want to take your scrum conditioning to the next level, you need to watch this video. I'll be sharing awesome videos every single week. So subscribe to my channel if you want to be notified every single time I launch a new video. All you have to do is click on the bell, press the subscribe button and you're good to go. Leave a comment and let me know what are you currently struggling with? How can I help you? And I'll reply as soon as possible. So before we get started, I have shared some awesome links in the description below. You can get more information about the Scrum Review, having your Scrums analyzed. And also you'll get access to my free Scrum Dominator webinar. Where I'll be sharing my personal framework and there's loads of other awesome tools. So now I'm going to share with you why I use the Anchor Harness and why I recommend it to front row rugby players and coaches all over the world. Reason number one, it's easy to set up. You can travel with it anywhere. It's compact. You can train with it in the gym, outside on the rugby field, or wherever you are, whether you're at home, on holiday. So no more excuses. You can always work on your scrums or conditioning while traveling. You can train with a friend or you can train on your own using the anchor harness. If you're on your own, it's simple to use, very easy. All you need to attach the fixing point to something stable, something solid, and you can start to train. With the anchor harness, you get bungee cords, rigid straps as well, handles, awesome clips. It's so simple to set up and easy to use. And great news is, us big guys, it fit us as well. I currently fit into the bear and there's another size called the rhino for the bigger boys. I got a big chest and it fits me perfectly. It's safe, it's solid. Check out this next video and I will show you how simple it is to set up. The great thing about the anchor harness is you can use it in the gym, you can use it outside, you can set it up very easily. And as you can see, everything comes in a small little bag. The harness, the bungee cords, the rigids, the handles, they all fit in that tiny bag. Nice and compact and easy to travel with. As you can see, I'm removing all the cords and the bungees, getting ready to set it up. As you can see, it's great quality product, awesome stuff, great harness, nice and solid. Now, all you need is a fixing point where you can set it up. You can attach the bungee cords beforehand. So, just for this purpose of the video, I showed you how I attach the cords to the harness before I start working. And as you can see, you can attach it to the shoulders or you can attach it to the bottom. And easy, you can set it up on your own. The clips in the front, nice and tight, making sure it's nice and secure. Because you can see i got a big chest. And it's easy for me to set it up. The clips going around the waist. And as I've mentioned before, there is a bear size, a rhino size available as well for the bigger boys. And there we go. Reason number two, dynamic core strength. Often we are too focused on scrum technique and not scrum conditioning. And a lot of rugby players do not know how to work on dynamic core strength. What is dynamic core strength? Is the ability to engage the right muscles and stay powered up. We tend to focus a lot on isometric holds, which is very important. But when we move forward in the scrum, that's when players tend to disengage. You need to engage the right muscles and the anchor harness helps us to do exactly that. The anchor harness helps me to teach rugby players how to engage the core and glutes while moving forward. One of my favorite exercises is the scrum crawl. It's one of my foundation movements. It allows players to work on their shape, engage their core and engage their glutes while moving forward. And it's way tougher than what it looks. You guys should give this a try. Reason number three, posture, scrum posture. We hear this word a lot. Rugby players need to have a good posture in the scrum, but how do we work on it? We do isometric holds and dynamic core strength, which is really great. 
but working on posture, we need to work time under tension. Posture is important for the whole pack, not just the front row. We need everybody to have their spine in line. I like to work on isometric holds using the harness, creating time under tension, getting to work on the player's shape, and with the bungee cords, pulling the player back, it creates so much resistance, and the player really needs to focus on engaging his core and his glutes. Reason number four is bind work. The bind for front row rugby players on their opposition, on the setup is crucial, it's important. A lot of front row rugby players, when they take the bind on their opposition, they tend to disengage their whole body. Their position is poor, they go up. We need them to stay loaded. And the great thing about the harness is, it allows rugby players to work on their bind, stay engaged. The harness allows me to work on this. You can work on this exercise at home. You can work on the bind using the harness, creating extra resistance, lots of time under tension. The harness just allows us to simulate the conditions in the scrum. Reaction speed and agility. In the scrum, we need good reaction speed from the front row rugby players. And the anchor harness allows us to work on that. Players learn how to drive with their hips and react quickly. But we all know a prop. It's not just all about the scrum. You need to repeat efforts. You need to be quick off the mark. We want big runs, big hits. You need to be able to drop your body height and explode when cleaning out. Speed and agility, reaction speed. This is important for front row rugby players, not just in the scrum, but in other areas of the game. And the harness allows us to work on that, moving sideways on defense, getting speed when getting off the line, making those massive hits. So if you're serious about taking your scrum to the next level, check the link in the description where you can get access to my free webinar called the Scrum Dominator webinar, where I'll be sharing my personal framework with you how to identify the problem, figure out what's holding you back in the Scrum. You will also get access to information about the Scrum review. And there's also a free drill on how to unlock hip power. Also check out my Instagram page, GG Stienkamp. All right, there's loads of unbelievable content. I share a lot of Scrum knowledge and experience on a daily basis. So check that out. So in the future, I will be going more into detail about what I spoke today. You can also check out other great videos on my YouTube channel talking about nutrition, scrum conditioning, scrum tips. There's loads of great content. So guys, I hope you understand now why I use the anchor harness. All right, just to do give you a brief recap. Number one, it's easy to set up. You can use it anywhere. Number two, you can work on dynamic core strength. Number three, you get to work on scrum posture or shape. And number four, you get to work on that bind, deloading onto the opposition. And number five, you get to work on reaction speed and agility. The anchor harness should be in the toolbox of every single front row rugby player or coach. These were just a few reasons why I use the anchor harness. It's an unbelievable tool. Resistance training, dynamic core strength, time under tension simulating the conditions in the scrum i can go on and on so if you want to learn my personal framework in the scrum remember to check the link in the description i'll also share some cool war stories as well so if you enjoyed this video and you found it valuable please like it and share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel so you can be notified every single time when i launch a new video it was unbelievable to share so much information with you today. I hope you found that valuable. So if you want more information about the anchor harness, just check on the link in the description. And you also have access to my promo code where you can get an awesome discount. Guys, I know you're dedicated on becoming better, becoming stronger, becoming fitter. Just be patient. Just keep on working hard. I know you guys will get there. Just keep on drafting and stay on the grind. Most important, remember, no scrum, no win. Boom!